Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the MK1 Boxing Mark 1 Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Carlo here. Today I'm doing a review on the MK1 Boxing Mark 1 Boxing Gloves. I got mine in the green colorway, 14 ounces. It is a Velcro closure only model. You can get these anywhere between 12 and 16 ounces. Additional colorways include white, black, red, and blue. It's made of a synthetic leather outside casing with five layers of foam over the knuckle area that has a medium to soft density and consistency to it. There's no actual tags on inside of either one of the gloves, but my best guess on where these are manufactured is probably gonna be either Pakistan or China. Now, this is gonna be the second pair of MK1 boxing gloves I've used and done a review on. The very first pair are their most success successful gloves, excuse me. In my opinion, probably the most popular as well, which are gonna be the MK1 Select gloves. Uh, those are a full genuine leather glove. Uh, one of my favorites, I did a review on those a couple of years ago. Um, and at the time I, I did the review, I had seen MK1 through social media, I'd seen their products, but didn't see any, any reviews online. Um, so I decided to pull the trigger and I'm glad that I did because those ended up being uh, really amazing gloves. And it's one of the gloves I, I tend to recommend. A lot of times people will send me a message <clears throat> and just, or even a comment on the video and try to say, hey, you know, wish I wish I'd pick between the Sabas or the, the Hit Moves and this glove or Phenom. So you get a lot of variations. And oftentimes MK1 is usually one of the gloves in that conversation, which is a good thing. So, you know, obviously the, the Selects are, are very popular gloves. Um, I wanted to do a review on these because this to me is gonna be um, kind of like their intermediate gloves, the next tier down. They're not as expensive as the Selects. And there's some key differences, obviously this being synthetic leather, um, and even the foam, just the shape of the glove is definitely different from the Select. But again, the price reflects that as these being more affordable. And I feel like these are more of kind of like right in the middle. So if you are if you don't really want to go all the way for the Selects or don't have the budget for it, but you want something uh, that performs well, um, then this to me would be kind of like that bridge between their lower end gloves and the Select. So that's, that's kind of my thoughts on this particular glove. Um, one thing that I wasn't really a big fan of was how they named this particular model because the, the name of the company is obviously MK1 Boxing, but they call these the Mark One, and it's kind of confusing because it's MK1 Boxing and then Mark One. So you kind of get the, the, the name of the glove and the actual company a little bit uh, confused sometimes. Um, whereas like MK1 Boxing Select, obviously that there's a big difference in name there. So it would have been nice if they named this one something different like the MK1 Boxing Alphas or the Elites or something along those lines. That way it's just a little bit more discernible between the actual company name and the name of the model of the glove. So uh, first things first, from a design standpoint, um, it does use that synthetic uh, leather outside casing that has kind of a semi-gloss finish to it. It does say MK1 Boxing across with their logo on the back of the glove, nothing too crazy there. You have the double stitching that kind of curves up and around. You also have a three and a half inch Velcro strap. Nothing, nothing crazy there. Again, synthetic leather throughout. You also notice that they stitch the Velcro strap, not just to this outside edge, but they also have stitching uh, on this inside to reinforce the Velcro. The inside of the hand compart compartment uses that uh, nice tricot liner, very smooth. This is, me personally, I love this type of liner because um, not like those kind of baggy uh, polyester uh, li nylon liners that tend to kind of uh, bag up, especially in the finger compartment area where it kind of uh, bundles up. Uh, this one t stays nice and flat and, and really smooth. Uh, the, down the downside or the drawback to this type of material is that it oftentimes soaks up sweat a little bit more and can get a little bit hotter on the inside. Um, and so you have to let these air out a little bit more. And because of that, uh, in terms of maintenance, they can tend to, s to stink quicker or, or, or smell worse than a, 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 a vinyl nylon inside uh, liner type of glove. So that's kind of the drawbacks, but I do like the comfort level when it comes to that. Uh, the back of the glove, you have about an inch of firm density foam padding um, that's lined with a softer padding on the inside. Um, I'd say about maybe a half an inch on the inside of the wrist, and you can see that that padding goes up on both sides right there. Um, it does have kind of like this wreath uh, with a checkered flag. I'm not really sure what they were kind of, oh, well, it looks like an RPM gauge, almost like a speedometer gauge. So 
kind of like a race car type look to it. I'm not really sure the thought process behind this little wreath with a, with a tachometer or a needle and then the checkered flag is up. Nonetheless, it's there. Uh, the grip bar in here, I'd say is medium. I feel like it could be a little bit larger, uh, but it has a firm amount of foam. It does say 14 ounces, so that that's gonna have the weight that goes across. Ventilated holes poked throughout on the palm. Nothing on the thumb. And then you also have a attached thumb on, uh, right here uh, where the thumb is at. Um, the placement of that, I'm not a big fan of. You can see that it's pushed a little bit further back. To me, that this attachment should be closer to the tip of the thumb right here, not so far back, and attached right here so that the thumb can't flare out. So if you're gonna use these for sparring, for whatever reason, if your thumb kind of flares out, you, you don't have the possibility of uh, thumbing someone in the eye, uh, which is a very rare occasion, but you know, the, the possibility is still there. So the fact that this attachment is kind of far back, it would have been nice for that to be a little bit more uh, towards the front. Um, in terms of dimensions for 14 ounce gloves, this to me is pretty much spot on. It's not overly huge, it's not super compact, it's pretty much right in the middle in terms of dimensions. So if you have a, a normal regular size 14 ounce glove that's not too compact, um, it's not too tight when you put it on, or it's not too large, to me this kind of sits right there in the middle. Quality wise, these gloves are very nice, the synthetic has held up really well. Um, I've used this in a couple of my hybrid workouts, and by that I mean um, I'll do like three minutes of bag work and then I'll do push-ups. And then I'll do another three minutes of bag work. Um, and then I'll do like mountain climbers. I'll do another three minutes of bag work. Um, you know, and then I'll do burpees and I'll do another three minutes of bag work. So I do some hybrid workout, workouts to change things up. And I won't remove my gloves. So I'll use them while I do my push-ups. And you can actually see the synthetic to me holds up better when you're doing those type of workouts compared to a genuine leather glove. And there's literally no markings. I've done it with some genuine leather gloves and they get scuffed up pretty easily. Uh, compared to the synthetic. So in terms of like doing push-ups with the gloves, and again, that's not something I would recommend. I just use it for my own workout. Uh, for longevity, that's not the best thing to do. So I don't, I definitely don't recommend using, leaving your gloves on and doing push-ups with them and doing burpees and all that, you know, in terms of preservation. But for me, I've, I obviously have so many gloves. So some of the gloves I do use, I just keep them on when I use them for my training. Uh, but again, with that being said, you notice that the actual punch surface, and I, I clean my gloves off when I use them after I'm done. Uh, but there's no actual like wrinkles or any type of nicks or whatnot. And I've used these several times for those type of workouts. So in terms of that durability, these held up really nicely. The logo looks really good. Uh, when I put these on the scale, they came in at I think 14.3 ounces about. So, I mean, a hair overweight, nothing that I would be even concerned about. So pretty much on point with the weight. Um, the stitching on here looks really clean where the index finger meets the thumb. Uh, obviously, we discussed the thumb attachment you need to be closer to the tip of the thumb rather than too far back. Grip bar looks good. All the holes are punched out. Um, you know, the stitching on the palm side is done really nicely. The Velcro strap grabs on, has a good amount of grip. The inside is done very well. You have that elastic that keeps everything together. The padding on the wrist feels solid. The balance of the glove is good, so the distribution of weight isn't too far forward or too far back. You do have that segmented cuff in between the wrist support and the forward portion of the glove, but that does not make it sag. You can see there that it's still very rigid. Even when I pull down on it, the glove doesn't want to just drop off, you know, and even with that segmented cuff, they do a good job of distributing the foam throughout the glove uh, to keep the weight really nice and balanced. Comfort wise, putting your hand into the glove, these are very comfortable. Um, not as comfortable as the Select gloves, in my opinion, I feel the selects are, to me, position my fist in a little bit more of a natural fist position compared to these. Uh, but you're also, again, you're also paying more for those. Um, and I feel like these are comfortable, but these are a little bit more snug, especially around the thumb area. Now, the thumb positioning on these is really good in terms of being nice and parallel and the tip not being too shallow. So my, my tip, the tip of my uh, thumb doesn't jam in there but this piping right here is a little bit on the tight side so you can see this piping with my hand wraps on my left hand my the the meaty part of my thumb is a little bit meatier than my right hand it's just naturally how it is so with my left my left thumb i noticed that this piping kind of pinches into my thumb a little bit it would have been nice if this was a little bit looser to give you a little bit more breathing room in that regard the wrist support feels good the hand compartment is nice and deep perfect width not too narrow not too wide you have a secondary piece of neoprene that covers the stitching. 
and it has a semi-broken in feel. So you can open and close your hands with relative ease. Once you start using these gloves with that layered foam and this softens up, the glove's gonna get a little bit more flexible. So you have that flexibility to open and close your hands to catch shots. Uh, but overall, very comfortable. The liner feels good on the inside as well. I don't feel like there's any voids in the hand compartment and I don't feel like there's any areas where I feel like any type of pinching or abrasions. Like, so sometimes you have certain gloves just depending on the area on the inside and the interior of the hand compartment. It just feels abrasive or your, your, you know, your pinky's rubbing against something. You might get one of those. With this glove, you don't really feel any of that. The only thing I would say that's uncomfortable sometimes, especially for my left hand, is gonna be this, this piping uh, being a little bit on the tighter side. Uh, protection and performance. This is the type of glove that the more you compress it down, at first it feels kind of soft to the touch and you kind of compress down and you really push, put power into your punches and that foam on the inside that those initial first one or two layers really compresses in nicely. So to me, this is a very good glove for all of your training. If you're gonna use these for sparring, hitting the bag, doing mitt work, this is really a, a good do it all type of glove. Good amount of feedback. Shock absorption feels good. It doesn't give you the same level of pop and crack that you would with like a horsehair glove. Um, and mostly that's due to the fact that there's a thick layer of foam. You know, there's five layers on here. Although the foam is a little bit softer, you still just have just that amount of thickness of foam with this glove, especially compared to like the select gloves. I feel like this glove is thicker in terms of just actual foam thickness. So do keep that in mind. It is on the softer side, um, but when you do land your shots, I don't get the same level of pop and snap I feel like I do with the select gloves. And that's kind of one of the big differences aside from obviously the leather construction and the shape of the glove. Um, cost wise, these gloves are 120 uh, US dollars, which is about right. I think it's a fair price given the fact that the, you know, the glove um, comes in multiple different colorways, a good a, a variety of sizes. Um, it would be nice to have a lace up version of this glove. Um, they're comfortable. There's a couple small little issues, you know, with the thumb position as far as the uh, where the the thumb, the thumb attachment goes to um, the thumb being a little bit tight right down here but I think this is kind of like a good mid-range point between this their entry level stuff and the select gloves so you know I feel like the fact that they don't use a cheap foam they use a layered foam padding on here kind of gives you that blend between uh, feedback and you know power transmission as well as shock absorption um, and I just think they aesthetically look really clean. Uh, my only thing is, obviously everything else is going up right price with you know inflation. I think the selects are like at 180 or 190 the last time I checked. I have to verify that, so don't take that uh, as, as word, as the gospel. But um, I think for probably, what, 60 to $70 more, you can get the select gloves. And I know that might be a big pill to swallow for those of you that are out there, just depending on your budget. Um, but if I were to do it all again, I probably would drop an extra 70 bucks and just get the selects over these because I'm really more than halfway there. And I just think the selects to me are just an overall better, a superior glove than these. These are solid, but I think the selects are superior, especially at these at 120. I would just jump up and just get the selects at, you know, 180, 190, whatever they cost now. Just my opinion on that. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you guys know what to do. Put them down below. I'll put the link in the description box. Where you can find these MK1 boxing, Mark 1 boxing gloves. See you guys later. Peace.